Hey everyone, Pat from Aeroflow Performance here, and today I'm going to introduce you to the new LS series sheet metal intakes. So this has been uh, a pretty heavily requested item uh, from a lot of our customers actually. Um, just an option that is, how would we explain it? It's probably, it's probably not something that's crucial for most of the builds, but you know, with the LS, the factory LS intake manifold, they're actually quite good performance wise, you know, good low end torque, they support quite a fair bit of horsepower, even though they're a composite plastic unit. The downside is they're not real pretty. They don't look great. So, you know, there's there's been this big gap between factory intake manifold that doesn't look very nice, but it works all right, to, you know, your mega dollar billet, fancy high rise uh, intakes that, again, maybe you're not making 1500 horsepower, but you just want your intake to look a bit nicer. You want your engine bay to look a bit nicer uh, or perhaps get a bit of a performance increase uh, for top end power. So that's where we've decided to bring in uh, and create these low profile, uh, very cost effective sheet metal intakes for both the LS1, LS2 cathedral port and the LS3 rectangle port uh, intake manifolds. As you can see, they're quite low. They've got this short runner style. Um, internally, they have uh, a short bell mouth uh, to increase the velocity into the ports uh, and a large plenum volume. So we've got the boss on the front here for the LS style throttle body. Uh, you can start with a, a 90, 95 mil and go up to a 102 or 103 mil throttle body uh, on the front of this. Uh, they also have all of the bosses for your injectors, of course, uh, and they come with fuel rails. As you can see, this unit here is fitted with the rail kit that comes with the intake manifold kit. It's important to note that factory LS rails or any fuel rails that are aftermarket designed for the factory intake manifold will not fit uh, with the supplied bracketry that uh, on the, these intake manifolds. So we do supply rails and brackets. We also have gaskets, uh, all the fittings required to mount those rails on there. They will support a three quarter or full length injector um, on, those, uh, on those intake manifolds. So again, very important factory rails or even our LS fuel rails that we've recently re-released, they will not fit on these, uh, on these manifolds with the supplied bracketry. So you must use the supplied rail kit that comes with it. A few more features on the, uh, on the intake manifold. Uh, we've got the O-ringed throttle body gasket. We also have the O-ring style, so factory style O-ring gaskets uh, where it seats to the head. We've got vacuum ports or boost ports on the bottom and also at the rear, so four on each. There's uh, three one-eighth MPT and one quarter MPT in both of those fitting areas. Uh, and then we've got the crinkle style sort of black finish that's on the top here. Uh, performance wise, uh, we're looking at really, compared to a factory intake manifold, this style of manifold, this short runner design, not just ours, but anyone that's got a short runner, you're going to move your power band or your effective power band higher in the RPM range. So you will lose a little bit of low down torque. Probably not something that will necessarily be, you know, you won't feel it maybe through the seat of your pants. It's something that you'll see on a dyno, on an engine dyno specifically, there's a little bit less uh, bottom end torque, but it will pick up at the higher end with a large plenum volume and a short runner. Um, great for a high RPM naturally aspirated motor or anything that's got a bit of boost in it. So 
um, side mount centrifugal supercharger or turbocharged. Boost level wise, this is a sheet metal intake, it is not full billet, so we're gonna cap boost to around 25 PSI on these. Realistically, on most LS engines, once you're at that 20 to 25 PSI mark, you're making a significant amount of horsepower. So I don't think, even though in the grand scheme of boost levels, that's not a very high number, but it is still supporting quite a bit of horsepower. So I wouldn't be too concerned for most of your street setups. If you are gonna look for every last bit of horsepower, then you're probably gonna look for something that's maybe not like a you know, budget-friendly entry-level package like this. And that's perfectly fine. Everyone has to choose their own parts that are correct for their application. All right, guys, so if you're looking for a new look for your engine bay, a bit of a dress up, or maybe a performance advantage on your LS-based combination, you can check these out at your local distributor, a quality retail outlet, or jump online at aeroflowperformance.com.